Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, how to read all the HTML form data using uh, get parameter map method. Uh, before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch uh, Serlet form data introduction video tutorial. Then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand this tutorial very clearly. Okay. Uh, to explain how to read all the HTML form data using uh, get parameter map method. I have created uh, this project. Project name is uh, Serlet form uh, read all params. Uh, so what I will do is I will uh, compile this project and uh, deploy in the Tomcat uh, web server. Okay. Project build project. Export. Select the var file. Next rows and I am placing the select form uh, read all params uh, var inside the tomcat uh, web apps folder ok finish ok then uh, I will uh, run the tomcat uh, server Uh, the server has been started. Uh, now I am going to access the web application using this uh, URL. Tell the context path I have given and uh, clicking on enter. And uh, it will display the index.html content. Index.html is the welcome page. Uh, so that welcome page uh, uh, index.html content is uh, displayed here. I am opening index.html uh, page. So it has uh, link order pizza. When you click that one, it will open the pizza.html page. Okay. So I am clicking uh, order pizza link. So it opens uh, pizza.html content. And uh, now I am opening a uh, pizza.html page uh, in Eclipse. So this is a file, and uh, when you click submit. Uh, it uses uh, get method to send a request to the server. Okay. Uh, before I enter some value and click on uh, submit, I will enable the developer uh, toolbar. Okay, you can see uh, developer toolbar on the right side. Now I am entering uh, pizza order form values, name. Ram, deep crust, toppings, uh, pineapple, onion, tomato, appetizer, uh, garlic bread, is a credit card number uh, 123 uh, repeat card number 123 so I'm clicking on order pizza so once I click on order pizza submit button uh, the request goes to the server uh, the server passes a request uh, and it return a response like this okay so basically whatever uh, uh, parameter name and parameter values are uh, passed to the server uh, that is uh, read from the server and uh, the output is uh, seen here okay so I'm clicking on get here so you can see request URL is uh, this one and uh, request method get 200 okay means uh, server has uh, processed the request successfully and uh, send the response uh, back to the client okay and here you can see the request header and uh, response headers and uh, i'm clicking on params so these are the parameters uh, and corresponding values uh, we have passed from client to the server and uh, i'm clicking on response so this is a response uh, we got from the server uh, so this output is uh, interpreted and uh, shown in the nice way here okay 
and uh, if you see here uh, read all params so this is the action which is specified in the pisa.html right so this is nothing but a url pattern okay so once a request goes to the server and the server will uh, forward the request to the servlet container then the servlet container will uh, use this url pattern and identify the corresponding servlet which can handle the request okay so what i will do is i will open uh, web.xml and i will show you the configuration so this is the url pattern which we have seen in the request and uh, based on this it will identify the corresponding servlet so in this case uh, corresponding uh, servlet is uh, read all params uh, servlet okay so the servlet container load this uh, read all params uh, servlet class and it will instantiate then it will call the init method of uh, uh, this uh, read all params uh, servlet class and then it will call the do get method to process the request uh, because in uh, pisa.html we have specified method as uh, get so it will call uh, do get method to process the request okay now uh, we will see uh, read all parameter uh, servlet what and all methods are there and uh, etc okay so this is uh, read all param servlet which extends http servlet it has uh, init method so this method will be called by the servlet container to initialize this uh, servlet then uh, it has uh, do get method uh, servlet container will call this uh, method to process the request and uh, the request will be processed and the response will be sent back to the client okay and uh, next method is uh, do post method uh, which will uh, call if uh, method is specified as uh, post method in pisa.html okay so if we specify post method then uh, this uh, do post method will be called so right now uh, we specified uh, uh, get method so do get method will be called for uh, processing the request okay and uh, this destroy method will be called by the servlet container uh, when this uh, servlet is uh, taken out of service okay so basically when uh, server shut down uh, this method will be called and uh, now we'll see uh, what we are doing inside the uh, do get method okay so here uh, what we are trying to do is uh, we are trying to read all the parameter names and the corresponding uh, values using uh, uh, get parameter map method okay uh, so here uh, request dot get parameter map method will return the parameter map uh, this map uh, contains uh, parameter name as a key and the corresponding uh, value as a string array okay so from the parameter map i am getting the key set parameter uh, name set so this contains uh, all the parameter names and uh, i am iterating parameter name set i am getting uh, each uh, parameter name and passing to the get parameter values method which will return uh, parameter values uh, string array then uh, just iterate uh, this parameter values uh, string array and uh, write it in the uh, print writer uh, object so print writer object uh, how i got is uh, calling the response object uh, get writer method okay so once i write it to the print writer uh, the corresponding uh, response will be uh, sent it to the client and uh, you can see all the parameter name and the corresponding uh, values are uh, sent it to the client and uh, displayed in the nice manner here okay uh, this is about uh, how to read all html form data using get parameter map method and uh, thanks for watching bye